We have come to Auckland Art Gallery and it is a must see if you are visiting the city. Now don't be put off by the scaffolding, it is under restoration, they are restoring the slate roof. The gallery is open every day except Christmas Day from 10 a.m. until 5 p.m. and it is free to enter. You can certainly spend hours in here if you wanted to and the lady at the reception gave us this map and we walked around the ground floor which had New Zealand type of art and then on the first floor, I think it was the second floor, it had Australian um, artwork and it was very interesting to see about the first peoples. Taking time to reflect, Paul? Yes, I certainly am. And I think that a good way to reflect your dedication and appreciation for our YouTube channel is to subscribe. Thank you very much in advance. We had a fabulous time at Hotel de Brett. This is a hotel that I read really good reviews about on TripAdvisor and they weren't recent, so I wasn't quite sure what to expect when I first booked it with my airline that I flew with. But as you can see, this was a really big bed and there were two pillows that were for each of us 
The mattress was very, very comfortable. There was enough bedding and we were quite warm when we turned the thermostat down. In addition, the TV was right opposite the bed, so it was a really good way to wake up, listen to the news. This isn't the news just now, but yeah, this was a really good thing. The facilities were vastly used. We used it every, every day. I used the drawers and we used and we kept the milk in the refrigerator. And this was ample space for us to keep our clothes hung up. This door leads out to the courtyard and over this courtyard is the restaurant and also the house bar, which was in close proximity to one another. So this was a good way to kind of let in the air and let in the sunlight from the sky roof just above over there. It's a little blue now, but in the morning it is quite bright and it's a good way to get the senses going and wake up. This was a really good sitting area to go on the laptop and this was my area where I kept some belongings and Marcus kept his belongings on that side. We were able to kept our valuable safe in this nifty safe. I love the art deco colors of the carpets and this is the common theme throughout this hotel where there is the red, there's a bit of blue, there's some orange, there's some of that brown, and then there's some of that beige. So it, it, like it all kind of gels together. Because as you can see, um, this chair and that chair also has those same color palettes as does the couch. And I think that the lights above also make good eliminations of the room. We were able to sit here on a few occasions where we watched something on the laptop and went through things that we bought along the way. So yeah, this is a good sitting area for when one of us wakes up feeling jet lagged and the other one is fast asleep. On to the bathroom, toilet, washroom area. Marcus was able to take his lovely bath in here and it was very, very big. It was very, very comfortable and it was very, and it took such a long time to fill up, but I think that that's fine because it was nice and relaxing. The counter tops in the, in the bathroom was pretty big area and it was a vast area to lay all our things out without it actually spilling over. The mirror was also a good thing to use in that we used it to shave and we used it to do other things to get ready before we went out. This light box served as a night light in the evening when we went to bed and when we, ne we needed the toilet, this is what we used to guide us to the toilet area. This was also a really good thing to put the towel on and also to put the robe on and to dry off the towel that we stood on. And lastly, the shower was very, very good. I liked the overhead projection of the steaming hot water. I didn't really use the head over here because I like it coming from above. Um, and 
the shampoo body wash was heavily used. I, I did use the conditioner, but not as often as I should have, but I will use it maybe once more. There's also a TV in here, but the channels are quite limited. Let me just bring this up. So this is channel one, and this shows the Hotel de Brett and what they served. And this is like the decor, and this is what some of the rooms look like. This might not necessarily be our room, but this is... Uh, a general feel of what the hotel is like and what to expect. I also really like the tassels where you indicated whether you want service with the green and if you didn't need service, you would leave the red. But we've always had it with the green to indicate that we did want it served and it was always made up to perfection. The breakfasts we're always very filling. We were able to try maybe three or four of the items on the list. And we always had it with coffee, either an Americano or a latte with skimmed milk, which is the one that I always ordered. The one that I liked the most was the Wagyu beef bolognese, which sounds very strange and it really shouldn't work, but it does because you have the Wagyu mince, and then you had the sourdough bread underneath. And then there were also some rocket leaves or some mixed salad leaves. And there was a poached egg on top of the Wagyu mince. And as a coating on top, there were lashings of Parmesan cheese. Yes, this sounds very bizarre and it really shouldn't work, but it really, really does. And I think that that was the thing that I was most impressed with the, the kitchen because it was such an innovative way to make a dish your own. And I think that they did really well in the presentation. And that's why I ordered it a majority of the time that I was here. We went to the house bar a couple of times and it was very, very good. We sat in the courtyard area and we were able to marvel at the scenery, marvel at the layout, marvel at the colors by the feng shui of the whole place. And I believe we had Prosecco on one of on one occasion and the other occasion, I think we might have had two beers and they were very, very good. And definitely kudos to the staff that worked behind the bar on those two occasions that we did visit. There's also the corner bar, which is not attached to the hotel. I believe you have to go through Short Shortland Street so it's the bit that intersects um, High Street, that street. I think it's Shortland Street. Don't write it if I'm wrong. Um, so yes, I remember us going there on, how many occasions, two, three? It was very art deco, very old school. It was very stylish. It seems very exclusive, which is the, which is the feeling that I got from the bar downstairs. The wait staff was great. And I think the people that worked here really did a good job to fulfill the orders very quickly. And it was very, and it was always very cold. I ordered a martini a couple of times. I think a Negroni and an old fashioned, I believe. And Marcus had Cosmopolitan, Apro Spritz, and, um, and I think Cosmopolitan a few times. We would highly recommend the corner bar to anyone that is visiting Auckland. 
We definitely loved staying at the Hotel de Brett. Upon arrival, we were greeted by Ruchi and Pranav. And they were very, very hospitable. We spoke to them at length and they pretty much helped us throughout the whole journey, um, throughout the whole time that we were here, which was a good 10, 11 days. And I think each day we spoke to them, we got a feel of what was going on, and they were able to also give recommendations on what to do, which is really helpful to understand things from a local perspective and to maybe get a feel of things that we should be doing, which we haven't done. One of the places is the Auckland Art Gallery, which we only went to on, on our last day, which was today. So it was really good to finally get to that place and to see what the free gallery had to offer. We also met the boss, Adam, and he was very hospitable and he was very, very talkative and he tried to make us feel at home and welcome even when we were still overcoming our jet lag and kind of wanted that personalized feel to it. So it was really good to speak to him on, I think, three or four different occasions. And it's good to have that human touch element in which the people that work at the hotel really try to go the extra mile to make you feel at home and to speak to you like you're one of their friends, which is one of the things that we do appreciate and we look forward to when we do go on our travels. So we do thank Hotel de Brett for that hospitality and for making us feel very, very welcome. If you are planning to visit Auckland and looking for a place to stay, I think that the Hotel de Brett should be at the top of anyone's list because of their charm, their innovation, their unique rooms, and their people, their level of service, their professionalism. The list goes on and on, so I don't need to actually convince you anymore, do I? So I would recommend anyone wishing to come to Auckland to give this a try and as a serious contender because they will meet and exceed your expectations. So that's all I have to say about this because this was just that good. What are you doing, Marcus? I'm trying to find our subscribers. They seem to have disappeared. So please subscribe. Well, we have returned to Devonport because we loved it so much and we thought this would be the perfect spot to sum up our trip to New Zealand, which has gone by all too quickly. And we hope that you have enjoyed this series of episodes along the way.
I think it's incredible how deserted Devonport is, especially on a weekday, because the last time that we came was on a Saturday, and it was kind of more packed to the rafters, and there was a lot more people around. But as you can see, the beach is definitely deserted today. Well, this isn't the same beach that we visited the first time we came. We've walked a little bit further north along the coast, and it was raining this morning, but Thankfully, the sun has come out now, but I'm keeping my cap on because if there's one thing that I've learned while we've been here is that you must keep <laughs> sheltered from the sun and protected as well. So make sure you use your factor 50 when you're here. This is quite warm. Is it? Yeah. Yes. You want to feel some? No. It's nice and soft. It's like warm to the touch. Look at that. The sands of time. You want to touch the water? No. <laughs> it might be a bit colder. It's funny how it changes from super dry to super wet. And one steps like crossing over a board. What's this? Is it two chairs and some rocks? Mm. This is a very interesting feature. I wouldn't mind sitting down. You might only... not be able to get up. <laughs> well, yeah. With the shape of those seats. It someone's doesn't... done someone's done this, haven't they? They've left it like this. I don't think it looks that comfortable. Or that safe. I think we would just go through them. The seagull was looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> the seagull was looking at me. Hi. Aren't you going to wave back? Look, this fabulous beach twists and turns the whole way round here. Yeah, I think we could walk the entire length over to that point over there. Wow, look at this pole. It's like this soft one and then there's a harder one. Yeah, and this is almost like acting like a dividing line because this beach curves round and it's a little mini beach now. Oh. If we go up as at one of these ones, we could come across Jimmy's Donuts. Mm. <laughs> oh, I need the toilet. Wow, this is Cheltenham Beach. Look at that. So we're at 
Cheltenham Beach, which is next to the Balmain Reserve, and there was a public toilet that really saved us. And looking out towards the sea, this is which volcano is that, Paul? This is Rangi Toto. Rangi Toto. And where is Waikiki, where we were the other day? It's, it's over this it direction is, somewhere. It's like so we go through Rangitoto and then Montu Tapu and then Waikiki Island. Ah. So it's like over there but then around the corner or something. Oh right. I am just really amazed by all of New Zealand's beaches. It's amazing. So look at this, it says this beach every six months we count Tuangi, cockles, their size and growth. The sizes we found, each print stands for 1% of Tuangi collected, number collected from each six monthly sample. And here we are, it starts off in July 1992. 1305. So that went down in February 1995. 1993, sorry. And it goes all the way to March 1995. Look at that. Wow. There are properties for sale here. And I am sure they would cost a pretty penny. Look at this one. A mid-century charm on the beach. Superb mid-beach position with spectacular views of the beach, golf and Rangi Toto. Just look at how still the water is down here. Oh, wow. Well, we've come to the end of the road or the beach. Paul, what were the highlights for you? One of the highlights would have to be the Sky Tower. We had magnificent views of Auckland and beyond. What about you? Well, there were so many. I think you've got to say the people because everyone has been so friendly. And also the zoo was fantastic because we got to see the Kiwi. And visiting Devonport because we've come twice and you know it's one of the few things that we did more than once while we were here but I think it would be great to see more of New Zealand and yes. what it has given us a taste for the country and what may lie beyond because it's all very well doing a city break and Auckland is probably the best city that we have ever visited yeah, it's the biggest city, the most populated city, but there's so much more out there. And of course, New Zealand is split over two islands. And I think the South Island, especially, you would get to see more of the wilderness. But maybe that is for another day. So from New Zealand and from us, it's goodbye. Not yet. Just before we go, I mustn't forget to wear my cap. So from New Zealand, it's goodbye. If you like our series so far, hit the subscribe button for those of you that haven't subscribed already. We do appreciate that and your likes and comments. So keep them coming. Indeed. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.
Welcome to New Zealand Week. We will be giving you top tips on where to go if you're visiting Auckland. And we will be attempting to make a few of the dishes we've had along the way.